Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is a lock knot tutorial. So I've just washed my hair. I'm just kind of showing you the length. It's like medium length. And I'm going to put some oil on it. I got this wild growth hair oil. And I'll oil my scalp with it first. And then for the lock knots, I'm using the Eco Styler Gel to retwist. Using a mirror so I can see the back of my head or Hello Kitty mirror. It's cute. Comb. Sometimes I comb the roots a little bit when I retwist. Some clips. And that's if I want to just hold the twist better. Sometimes I don't worry about it too much when I do lock knots and then rubber bands to hold the lock knots. So now I'm just about to oil my scalp and you should shake the bottle because sometimes there's sediments at the bottom of that. So I'm just oiling it really thoroughly, rubbing it in. I don't worry about my sides. Uh, just worry about like the front part of my edges. I've cut my sides off because I have hair loss on my sides, so I don't too much worry about that. Just getting nice and thorough here. So I massage that in and now I'm going to take my spray oil by Mango and Lime Spray Oil and that's what I kind of spray on the bottom of my locks too. But I like to spray it on my roots because it's tingly and it smells good. I really like this product. But spraying it on the bottom part of my locks helps that part to get a little more moisturized which I really like. So now I'm taking my ponytail holder and I'm gonna put my hair up in a bun on top of my head just so I can pull out the locks I want to do when I'm ready to put them into a lock knot. I'm gonna pull a couple of locks out the bottom. Start with this one first. So I just section it off, get some gel and put it on there. And then I'm going to palm roll my lock. Sometimes I comb the roots, um, which you'll see me do with the other lock. So I palm roll the lock in whatever direction. Then you make a loop, maybe about a third of the way um, down the top of the lock. And then I'm twisting in the same direction as I retwist my hair after I make the loop. And then with the remaining part of the lock, I twist it around the loop slash twist that I've made. Twisting that in the opposite direction of the retwist. And then I secure it with a rubber band. And that's the first lock knot and I'll do it again here. Putting some gel on the root. Making sure it's sectioned off. 
I'm getting my comb now, twisting the root a little bit, combing the root a little bit. I twist it in the direction of my retwist, palm roll it, then I'm going to make a loop and start to twist the loop towards the direction of my retwist. So for me, it's to the right. Then once I get my loop twisted, I take the remaining part of the lock and twist it around that loop to the left, the opposite way of my retwist, starting at the top and then twisting down until it meets the end and then putting on my rubber band. So sometimes when you retwist, if you're worried about keeping your retwist tight, you can put a clip on the top of the lock not to hold it. I'm not really too much worried about it. Um, when I do these retwisting, um, it kind of maintains the twist enough for me. But if you're concerned about keeping your retwist itself, feel free to put a clip on it. And you might see me put a clip on there just because sometimes they do get really loose. It's just, I just do it as I feel it's needed. So I'm doing the same thing here one more time. Wrapping the remaining part of the lock starting at the top and going down towards the loop. And then securing it with a rubber band. So this one I did take a clip and put it on there just so you could see. And usually if I do do more clips, I'm more likely to do them in the front. I do kind of like to keep that a little bit more tightly twisted. Now do a couple more here so you can see. So I'll show you this last one, securing it with a rubber band. Then I'm going to go do the rest of my hair until I get to the front. And then I'll show you the last four in the front. So I'm back with the front of my hair remaining after doing all the rest of my head. And the front is a little bit different just because I like to maintain that a little bit better than the back as far as like the frizzies and stuff go. So I take my comb, comb it back a little bit. You might even see me grab my brush and I couldn't find my little tiny brush, little edge brush. So I was using my big brush. Just doing the same thing here, twisting, palm rolling and then making my lock knot. So hopefully you can see the technique here. Remember twisting or palm rolling the hair, then make a loop about a third of the way from the top, twist to the right, and then wrap the remaining hair around to the left and where you make the loop also might depend on your hair length but this works well for me
and I am securing the front with clips again just because I like to maintain those frizzies a little bit better but usually after the first day I'll take those off um, you can sit under the dryer if you like with these but I recommend just keeping them up for a couple days especially if you put them up right after you washed your hair because with the hair being so twist tightly twisted like that and like all wrapped up it takes it longer to dry so instead of trying to sit under the dryer for some hours i just let them dry naturally over the course of the next couple days so this is me being done and then I'll just go ahead and throw my bonnet on and go to sleep like this. So this is the next day and I'm just gonna put a head wrap on. I got this head wrap from Wrap Life really cute little head wrap it has a satin lining so it'll kind of protect your edges and protect your hair so if you're looking for that this is a good option and then i'm just kind of positioning my head wrap you know just so that it's not tied on top of the lock knots i try to make sure that they aren't underneath the head wrap that they're either in front or behind um, wherever the head wrap is sitting And then I just tie it after I'm done fiddling with my lock knots. I'm just tying it now. I'm deciding how I want it to go. So I tied it twice and then I ended up just um, tucking the ends of the head wrap underneath itself and I thought it was really cute I normally don't wear head wraps but I do like this especially with this style so that is pretty much it this is what my hair looks like um, I just let it stay like this and then in a few days i'll take it down so if you want to see more lock videos let me know don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching peace and love